today we will do few questions from NCERT inverse trigonometric functions so this is the question write the following functions in the simplest form so here I've taken two questions tan inverse root over 1 plus x square minus 1 divided by x where x is not equals to 0 and another, another one is tan inverse 1 over root x square minus 1 so in these type of questions uh, you have to remember a few things so you can get uh, these kind of expressions in the sums so if uh, you have this sum, this expression uh, root over 1 minus x square so in this type of cases you can take either sin x as your sin theta or cos theta so it's up to the question like uh, which is required and which one is giving you the simplest form so you can use that one if you have x square minus 1 so you can use it you can take your x as either cos cosec theta and either sec theta why i am saying this uh, here if you write 1 minus sine square theta so if this expression will become cos theta if you take 1 minus cos square theta it will become sine theta the same way here uh, here our aim is to uh, simplify this to remove this root okay so that's why we are using this and if you have x square minus 1 so you can take x as uh, cosec theta or sec theta if you have 1 plus x square so you know you can take x as cos theta or then theta uh, and the same way if you have uh, 1 plus uh, x so in that case case you can take your x as cos theta and here also you can take as cos theta because 1 plus cos theta can be written as 2 cos square theta by 2 and here it can be written as 2 sin square theta by 2 and then at least root 2 sin theta by 2 you will get okay let, let me show you so here if you have 1 minus cos theta so this thing can be written as root 2 sine theta by 2 so this way you can uh, solve these so here in this the first first one you have root over 1 plus x square so I have to work for root over 1 plus x square either you can take cot theta or 10 theta so if you take uh, here 10 theta so what we will get here we will get 1 plus 10 square theta and 1 plus 10 square theta is how much it's sec theta so sec theta minus 1 you will get in the numerator and in the denominator you will get 10 theta and afterwards we will simplify so we will get the answers answer here so now let's see solution of now let's solve this sum the fifth one so here i am taking x as x equals to uh, 10 theta as i told also so here this expression will reduce to 10 inverse root over 1 plus 10 square theta minus 1 divided by 10 theta and now you can write this thing as Then inverse 1 plus uh, 10 I told will be sec theta minus 1 divided by 10 theta now you can further solve it so you will get 10 inverse you can change your sec as 1 by cos and uh, 10 as 1 by sine so you will get 1 by minus cos theta divided by sine theta after taking everything so it will cancel out so you'll get this now what can we do here now again 1 minus cos theta can be written as 2 sin square x y 2 1 minus uh, sin cos square can be written as 2 sin square x theta by 2 and your sin theta can be written as 2 sin theta by 2 into cos theta by 2 so here you can cancel out few things like sine 2 sine theta you can cancel out so you will get here then inverse 10 theta by 2 
so your value for this will be theta by 2 so the answer of this question will be theta by 2 now let's see the another one now this is the second one so in the second you have uh, 10 inverse 1 divided by root over x square minus 1. So here I have told already what you can take. You can take uh, x as uh, sec theta or cosec theta. So let's just first assume if you will get here cosec, so cosec square x minus 1 will give you cot and 1 by cot will be 10. Okay, so that is okay. So you can just roughly uh, take the idea like if you take cos, cosec or sec, so which will give you the exact answer. If you take sec, so you will get 1 by 10. So you have to change it further. So here we will take x as cosec theta. So here this x can be taken as cosec theta. So here it will be cosec square theta minus 1. So now it will be 10 inverse. 1 by and here I have taken x as cosec theta. So it will be 1 by cot theta. So it can be written as 10 inverse 10 theta and afterward it will become theta and after that theta we have taken so your theta will be cosec inverse x. In the previous question also we got the value theta by 2 so the theta by 2 can be written as again it was 10 inverse x so this is your answer this is the simplif simplified way of this question number 5 so here you have seen 1 plus x square we took x as 10 theta and we got the answer 10 inverse x divided by 2 Whereas for this question, number 6, we have taken x as cosec theta. So we got 1 divided by cosec square theta minus 1. So that was cot theta and 1 by cot is 10 theta. So theta you will get and afterward you can write your theta as cosec inverse x. So this is your answer for this question.